But I'm a peace activist, and uh, I believe in peace, and I believe war is not the answer. Many people ring the doorbell and ask, what is this place? And I say, it's my home. And they say, it's your home? <laughs> it's very unusual. And I say, well, it, it, it is, but I guess I'm an unusual individual. I moved into this house, and a real estate agent had written, this is an Ottawa landmark. I thought that meant that someone famous had lived in the house. Uh, so we did some research on the house, and we found nothing of, of substance. But I thought, well, we have to maintain that reputation. I started off by putting a flagpole in front of it to kind of blend in with the embassies on the road. Then I started saying, well, I don't want to fly the Canadian flag here. I want to fly a peace flag and give the message of peace. There are enough people giving messages of war. This one here is um, a painting of a protest, uh, a peace protest that I attended, but it's protest against the troops in Iraq, the invasion of Iraq by uh, the coalition of the willing. Apart from doing art, I also enjoy gardening and I actually expanded into the park across the street and I've adopted Dutchie's Hole. I started cleaning up the park a little and then and planting a few hostas from my garden across the street and eventually I um, actually adopted that park from the city of Ottawa. It would be the nicest corner in Sandy Hill. I think there needs to be more of a message of peace and coexistence and tolerance. And that's what this house has uh, now become. It's become uh, a beacon for people uh, believe in peace and justice and things like that.